All right, what's going on here? Back with episode nine. Took a little bit of a hiatus, but we're back. So today's episode, we're gonna focus on using nothing more than a pair of interchangeable dumbbells. So whether you have the interchangeable dumbbells or you just have it sets of dumbbells from 10 to maybe 20, 40, 50, so on and so forth, uh, this is for you, okay? So keep in mind that when we do today, we are gonna organize it into three different complexes. So we're gonna start off with um, a set of light exercises, a set of moderate exercises going second, and then lastly, a set of heavy exercises, okay? So I'll tell you guys what they are right before we do them, okay? I'm gonna get over them, and we're gonna make sure that we knock out everything entirely today before wrapping up at the end with our cool down stretch, okay? So keep going. And then with um, every uh, complex that you see, the light, the moderate, and the heavy, I'm gonna go in detail over every exercise, how to do them, pointers, some things to avoid, and things of that nature, okay? So just follow along as always. All right, we're gonna start with the light stuff, work our way down to the heavy, and that'll wrap us up today. So as I mentioned, we're here starting off with the light complex first, okay? So this light complex will consist of three exercises. We're gonna do two upper body ones and then a core one. So we're gonna start off by grabbing just one dumbbell here, as you see, all right? Since I did say this is the lighter complex, the weight you're gonna need is no more than maybe 10 to 15 pounds. I have 15 right here, okay? So number one, we're gonna start off doing dumbbell tilts. Dumbbell tilts targets the obliques, okay? So we're gonna begin by getting the one dumbbell, pressing it overhead. Another rule to keep in mind is to keep your eyes on the dumbbell the entire time you do the exercise. From here, keep a nice wide base. Hand is gonna go right on your side of your leg. From here, keeping your eye on the uh, dumbbell, you wanna slide downwards so you can get down as low as you comfortably can. And from here, rise right back up. All right, again, slide down, back up. Uh, all right, cool. So now that we got the very first exercise out the way, which hit our obliques, let's go on right into the second one. So the second, we're also going to keep those lighter dumbbells as well. As you see here, I've stripped the last plate, made it even lighter, all right? So this is 10 now. So now we're going to hit some back muscles, all right? We're going to hit the posterior stuff. We're going to begin by getting into a bent over position. And then from here, all right, we want to lock this position in place while we do our reverse flies. So starting off here, we want to keep a very slight bend in the elbows from here. You want to pull those dumbbells as far apart as they can get and let them return back to that same start position, okay? Ideally, you want to pull them things up so that they're shoulder height before returning right back down, all right? All right, cool. So now that we've gotten the first two lightweight exercises out the way, let's transition right to that last one. So the first is the core. The second is some back muscles. The third, we're gonna target the shoulders, okay? So, still keeping the dumbbells fairly lightweight, okay? Just a 10 pounder. From here, we do something called a dumbbell press out, okay? So with this, same start position, okay? So we're gonna start by hinging our hips, chest parallel to the ground. We wanna keep our body in this position the entire time. The next point, we wanna take our elbows, keep them at 90 degrees, okay? This is what's gonna make or break the exercise. So keep your elbows locked in place. Now from here, Press those dumbbells completely overhead and bring them right back down in that same start position. Again, press up and bring them back down. Notice I'm keeping my elbows at 90 degree, degrees the entire time as I press them overhead and then return to that same start position. All right, and now that we hit that third exercise of the lightweight stuff out the way, let's go ahead and transition right over to the moderate. Okay, so with the moderate ones, when I say moderate weight, since these dumbbells are five to 50, um, I like to keep them around the 20 to 35-ish range, okay? So just like the lightweight stuff, we're gonna go uh, three exercises sectioned together before we transition off and hit the uh, heavy stuff at the end, okay? So we're gonna start off with number one, going a dumbbell deadlift to row. Number two, we're gonna go uh, dumbbell lunge to press. And then lastly, we're gonna do a goblet split squat, okay? So we get a whole bunch of upper and lower body movements with this next one. So number one, okay, dumbbell deadlift to row. I like this one a lot. It's, uh, it's a good lower body as well as upper body exercise. So we're gonna begin by grabbing the dumbbells, okay? I have mine set to 20. From here, we're gonna begin by getting our feet in place like we would do a traditional deadlift. So you wanna keep your feet about shoulder width apart. From here, remember to always keep those shoulder blades squeezed together and keep your back flat. Okay, so we're gonna begin by going down into the deadlift portion. So dumbbell front of each leg, down. So the dumbbells are right uh, just under my knees. And then from here, I'm gonna go right into the row part. So I'm gonna row straight up, back 
down, stay them nice and tall, and that'll count as one repetition. So again, I'm gonna go down into the deadlift, keep this body position as I roll up. Notice I rotate my hands upwards, and when I go back down, I'm gonna rotate them again, and they stand up nice and tall. All right, now that we have the first exercise of the moderate set of exercises done and out the way, let's move right to the second. So the second one, we're gonna do a dumbbell lunge to press, okay? So, use those same dumbbells, still have them set at 20 pounds. All right, so we're gonna begin by getting the dumbbells up to shoulder height, and this will be the start position right here. Okay, feet roughly shoulder width apart. From here, we're gonna begin by going into that lunge first, and then simultaneously going into an overhead press. So that'll look like, and notice when you do this, you want to alternate every step. Okay, so I went right first, we'll go left second, and back, and again. Make sure to alternate with every single step. Same lunge mechanics still apply. Okay, when you lunge out, you want your back needs to be roughly an inch or two off the ground to make sure that you take the full range of motion. Now that the first two are done and out the way, let's transition right into that third and final exercise of the moderate set, okay? Now with that one, all we're gonna need is one dumbbell, okay? And this, uh, the last exercise, as I mentioned before, is the goblet split squat. So the goblet portion of the split squat is simply holding the dumbbell right in front of you here, right about chest height, okay? We're gonna keep the dumbbell here the entire time we do the exercise, okay? So once you get into the goblet position here, the next step is my feet, okay? My feet, we're gonna go into a split stance. So starting off with my feet square, as you see, I'm gonna take one step forward, one step backwards, and keep my feet locked in place there the entire time, okay? From there, the goblet position again with the dumbbell, and I'm gonna go straight down into the squat. So what that looks like is here, think about your back knee going straight down to the ground, and you're gonna bring yourself back up by driving through your front, heel until you're nice and upright again. All right, pressure, straight down. Up. Make sure that you're keeping the dumbbell up at chest height the entire time. Don't let it sink down while you bring that back knee down to the ground and then driving through that front heel to get you back up to that same start position. All right, so now that we've gotten all the lightweight exercises out the way, the moderate ones out the way, Let's finish the day up by hitting all the heavy stuff, okay? So now when I say heavy, I wanna adjust my dumbbells to maybe 40 to 50 pounds, since 50 pounds is the cap for the dumbbells, okay? So these are, uh, the heavy stuff is gonna be set up the same way the lightweight and moderate weight was. So we're gonna go three exercises. The three exercises are the floor press, kickstand squat, and then the sumo deadlift last, okay? So again, these are the heavier range um, exercises, so make sure that you are keeping that heavier end, okay? I'll try doing these with the 10 or 15. Okay, so uh, we're gonna begin with the floor press and then just work our way down. All right, and as I mentioned, we're gonna begin our, our heavy stuff with the floor press, okay? So to kind of get a visual of the floor press, um, imagine doing a typical dumbbell bench press, except obviously on the floor, okay? So, got my dumbbells handy, okay? We're gonna begin by leaning backwards, okay? Nice and flat. And then from here, we're gonna bring our feet up, okay? This is gonna be the start position prior to us pressing up, okay? so. I'm gonna begin with my elbows all the way flat on the ground. From here, okay, keeping the neutral grip, I'm gonna press straight upwards, and I'm gonna center the dumbbells at the same time, okay? And again, when I bring them back down, I wanna go all the way back down to that start position with my elbows flat, okay? Again, go, and Full extension, and then elbows all the way flat on the ground again. All right, now that we got the floor press out of the way, okay, hit the upper body with the heavy stuff, let's transition downwards to the legs, okay? So the leg exercise we're gonna do now with the heavier dumbbells still set at 40 pounds is the kickstand squat, okay? So this kickstand squat is similar to the uh, split stand squat, except our feet are gonna be much closer together, okay? So I'm gonna begin by grabbing my weights and I'm just gonna hold them steady by my sides. From here, okay, I'm gonna start off with my feet square and then I'm gonna move one foot up and it's just like the split squat, I'm gonna move the other back, but barely so, okay? So much so that my toe, my rear toe, and then my front heel are lined up together, okay? As you see here. From here, all you're gonna do is go down into that squat by pushing your hips back and taking a seat, and then just driving through that front heel to get you back up to the top, all right? Down. All 
Alright, so now here we are with the third and final exercise of the heavyweight stuff as well as the last exercise of the day. Okay, so we started off with the floor press, then we hit the kickstand squats. Now for the last one, I cranked the weight up a little more, so I put the entire 50 pound stack on there so that we can hit those sumo deadlifts last. Okay, so with the sumo deadlifts, I'm going to begin by just using the one dumbbell. I'm going to pick it up. I'm gonna have the dumbbell hang in front of me just as such, okay? From here, just like a sumo wrestler would, okay? I'm gonna take a nice wide stance, and then from here, I'm gonna slightly point those feet outwards, okay? From here, just like with the deadlift we did earlier, the deadlift to row, I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades, okay? To ensure that my back is as flat as can be. And then from here, I'm gonna begin by pushing my hips backwards until the dumbbell is touching the ground or very close to it. And then from here, I'm just gonna begin by pulling my hips forward until I'm standing upright nice and tall, okay? Fresh. So here, I'm gonna begin by pushing my hips backwards so my chest is about parallel to the ground. And then from here, again, pulling those hips forward so I'm nice and tall, okay? Take a couple reps. Always keep in mind that when you're doing the sumo deadlifts and any deadlift as is, that it is just a hip hinge. Very hip dominant, not so much knees. And now that we hit the third and final uh, set of exercises that concludes us for today, okay? So at the conclusion of every exercise, like I always say, make sure to cool down, stretch, okay? Maybe foam roll and all that good stuff. Um, general rule of thumb for stretching, um, hold each one for about 30 to 60 seconds before we move on to the next one, okay? But again, it's a refresher episode nine okay interbell uh, interchangeable dumbbell base okay if you don't have the interchangeable dumbbells just having a set of dumbbells from 10 to 20 to 50 so on and so forth will suffice as well okay so until next time all right it's been a pleasure again see you guys for episode 10.